Hey guys, what's up? This is Rajat Gupta. Welcome to my channel, TechSalsa.com. In this video, I want to show you guys how you can actually schedule your laptop, your computer, your Windows system to shut down automatically when you're not using it, when it's on idle. So what happened, like other night I was working on my computer, my laptop, and I started my antivirus scan uh, to scan the computer, and I was hoping that I would not sleep before the scan completes, but it, it happened otherwise, and, and I started feeling sleepy, but I didn't want to turn off the antivirus scan. So what I did, I actually scheduled my laptop to turn off automatically, to shut down automatically when the scan completes and so that I could go to bed and sleep tension free. Just stick with me and I'll, and I'll guide you how to do that. There's no additional software required for this. The tool is actually called Task Scheduler and it's by default present in your Windows system. So let me jump onto my computer and I'll guide you how to do that. So I'm on my computer right now and uh, for this video we're going to make use of this tool called Task Scheduler. Uh, this is an application by default present in our windows operating system and to open that um, you can just uh, type task scheduler and uh, it will just show up or if you want you can actually go to this location uh, program data microsoft windows start menu programs and windows administrative tools you will see task scheduler there so actually task scheduler lets us create some task that we can execute automatically when some condition is met and uh, you get to decide those conditions. So in this video, we're gonna create a task that runs automatically when uh, when our system is actually idle for some time. And um, the action we're gonna create is to shut down the computer, shut down the laptop. So let's get started. So on your right panel, you see uh, this button called Create Task. We're gonna click on that. So this will open a new dialog box and uh, we're gonna name it as Shut Down Task. You can provide the description if you need to, but that's optional. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to run this task only when uh, this user is logged on. You, uh, if you have multiple users, then you can actually uh, select the other option. Just make sure to click this button, run with highest privileges, so that this task actually runs and uh, there is no blocking. And uh, you need to configure the task for your operating system. I, I'm going to select Windows 10. And uh, the next tab is Triggers. In this triggers tab, you actually have to specify the condition that will trigger the task. And for that, just click on the new button. You can actually schedule this task for one time, daily, weekly, monthly. Maybe if you are, if you want to shut down your computer every night, then you can do daily at some time. I'm going to proceed by clicking one time. And make sure this, this is uh, enabled at, at the bottom. And I click OK. The next tab is actions and, and in this uh, we have to specify what, uh, what action uh, our task will do. Click new and the action drop down actually has three things that we can select from. We can either start a program, we can send an email or we can actually display a message box. I'm going to select start a program. So this actually allows you to select some program. You can select any program, any application that you need to run uh, whenever your condition is met. But uh, for our case, we, we're just gonna uh, shut down the laptop. So just name this as shutdown. And the argument is mandatory, uh, so just type it as I'm gonna do that. Front slash and capital S. So this is actually a shutdown command that you would um, provide to your computer. And it is actually similar to uh, manually shutdowning your laptop. So this will work when there's nothing running in your computer and there's no data that you need to save. But in case there's something uh, that is actually running and if you need to force shut down your computer, then you have to provide the value as front slash F. But uh, I'm gonna only do front slash S and uh, I'm gonna click OK. The next tab is conditions. So in this tab, we have to select the conditions when our task is gonna run. And uh, this actually lets you select the idle option too. So if you see, we have this uh, checkbox, uh, checking which actually enables the uh, idle condition. And uh, this lets you specify how long your computer should be idle before the task triggers. And uh, I'm gonna select it as 15 minutes. And uh, that will actually specify if my computer is actually idle for 15 minutes, my task will actually trigger. The next condition is wait for idle for one hour. That actually tells the computer to wait for some time before uh, it actually triggers. Uh, you can just play around with the setting and I'm, not, I'm actually gonna select do not wait. The next tab is actually called settings and I'm not gonna do any changes in that and it actually looks good to me by default. So just click OK and your task will be created. 
So if you see on your left is a task scheduler library, and this is where your, all the tasks that, that are created by you would actually go and save. If you see, uh, currently I have a test task already created that was created by me when I was testing this task scheduler application. And let's do a quick refresh so that we can actually see uh, the task that we just created. So if you see, uh, we have uh, one more task, shutdown task that we just created. And if you need to edit this task, what you need to do, just double click on that and it will open and uh, you can um, edit the settings that you just created. So this is how you can actually schedule your computer to turn off automatically when you're not using it, when it is on idle and or maybe, you know, just um, create a task to uh, shut it down automatically every day so that you don't have to worry about if your computer is running in, in the back end. I hope this video was useful for you and if it was, click like and subscribe to my channel because there are many more videos coming your way. So stay updated. Alright guys, see you in the next video.